This is a tutorial over half adders and full adders by Bitsaint Scary. We will start by learning basic binary addition. As you can see, in base 2, 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, which equates to 2 in base 10. Let's compare our carryout case to something in base 10 something a little more familiar that we all know how to handle. So 1 plus 9 in base 10, you know that you're going to have a 0 here and you're going to have to carry your 1 to the tens place. Same in base 2, you know 1 plus 1 in base 2 is going to be equal to 0 with the carry of 1. And then from here it's basic addition again. 1 plus nothing is 1 and 1 plus nothing is also 1. And these are not equal. This is equal to 2, and this is equal to 10. Now that we can add in base 2, let's design the truth table. When designing a truth table, you need to look at how many inputs you have and how many outputs you have. Here we have two inputs. So we know that our number of inputs is equal to 2. So 2 to the end we're gonna, is equal to 4 and you know that our truth table is going to have to count from 0 to 3 which is 4 places and we're going to have an output a C out and a sum C out and a sum so we start our truth table by simply counting from 0 to 3 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 which is 0 1 2 3 which is 2 to the 2 which equals 4 so here's our 4 now we need to know when our C out and our sum are going to be high. Well we know 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 and we don't have any carryouts. And we also know that 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 with no carryouts. And the same goes for this case. And then here is the special case that we were talking about on the last slide. The 1 plus 1 is equal to a sum of 0 with a carryout of 1. Now we can use the truth table to make a k-map and see if we can make any reductions. In this case, we can't make any further reductions, but we'll go through the steps anyways. So we need to know when C out is high. And it's only high when A and B are high. So we're going to go to that spot on the k-map and place a 1. And then fill in the rest with zeros. Next the sum. We need to find out when the sum is going to be high. So we go back to our truth table. The sum is high when A is low and B is high. And the sum is also high when A is high and B is low. So when A is high and B is low, we put a 1. And when A is low and B is high, we put a 1. And from here we can derive our equations. If we could simplify, we could, we would but we can't in this case because we can't combine any 2 to the n pairs except for 2 to the 0. So here let's get our equations. We have a is high and b is high so c out is equal to a and b. And for the sum, sum is equal to not a, not a and b, b or a a and not B. Once you have your equations we can draw the circuit. Like before C out was equal to A and it with B. And for the sum, the sum was not A and B and not B and A or them together and that is the sum. But any summation can really be made by XOR gates. If you look at the truth table you will see that the truth table for an XOR gate matches the truth table that we designed on the previous slides. Using the equations we can now design the 2-bit half adder. So first we'll need two inputs sticking with our input A and our input B 
input A. input B. First equation was A and B is equal to a carryout. Our next equation was A X or B is equal to our sum. Use the wiring tool. We can wire these up. And then we can use our object interaction. Make sure play is on. And we could test the results. So 0 plus 0, no LEDs are lit up. 1 plus 0, we get a sum of 1. 0 plus 1, we get a sum of 1. And 1 plus 1, we get a carry out of 1, which is equal to 2. Let's move on to the full adder. Here, since we have three inputs, we know 2 to the n, which n is equal to 3, we're going to have to count to 8 in this truth table. So this starts from 0, and it goes to 7. And now we're going to use the basic binary addition that we learned earlier to get our C outs and our sum. So we know 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. And we know 0 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to a sum of 1. And then so forth. So this was the last case that we saw earlier, was the 1 plus 1 is equal to a carryout of 1. Now let's move on to the full adder, which accounts for a little bit more than what the half adder did. So now we're going to move on to here, which is 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is the same as this case up here is still equal to 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is still equal to a carry out of 1, which is just like this case right here. The only thing that's really different in this case is the final one, which is the 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to a carry out of 1 and a sum of 1, which equals 3 in binary, or 3 in decimal, but is 1, 1 in binary. Using the truth table, we can fill out our k-map. Here the sum has a similar pattern as it did on the half adder. As you can see, if you don't see the pattern and you don't see how this is an XOR gate, you need to look at a 3 input XOR gate truth table. And you'll see that it lines up exactly. But if you don't want to use XOR gates, it's fine. We can just and them and or them all together and this long drawn out equation which you'll need to use more hardware which you can have more problems but let's look at C out C out we have three combinations here and the first one is B and C in so it's got to be this circle because B is high here and here and C in is high down here so this is this circle or together with A and C in. So it's this circle because A is high right here and here and C in is high here and here. So that's this equation. And then A ended with B is this one. So you have A is high, B is high, and the C ends cancel. Now using the equations, we'll draw the circuit diagram just as before. This is the long drawn out circuit, not using the XOR gates. As you'll see in the simulator, I'll use the XOR gates so you can see that it is simpler. And here is our uh, circuit for the C out. 
Here we have A ended with B, B and CN ended together, A and CN ended together, and they're all or together to get our output of our carryout. I already pre-built the full adder. I only built the half adder in front of everyone because I just wanted them to see how to use the simulation and where all the parts were and how to build a basic circuit. But I pre-built the full adder for us. As you can see I have them side by side with the half adder and the only difference is now we have a carry-in, slightly larger combination logic and we can account for previous overflow. Now let's simulate them side by side and uh, see how they both work. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then the difference between the half and the full adder is the carry in, which allows it to compute the overflow from the previous stage and gets us to 3, which is 1 and 1 in binary. Thank you for watching the tutorial video. Remember, adders aren't that difficult. All we did was add up some basic numbers, like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. We all know how to do that, so adders shouldn't be very difficult after watching this tutorial. Thank you, everybody. Bits ain't scary.